Hello, I'm Annalisa from Creative Curious Learning and Living here on YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I am a homeschool mom to four. I have an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a three-month-old. So here on my channel, I like to share our homeschool journey, cleaning motivation, motherhood, haul videos, and give you resources that will hopefully help you and inspire you in your homeschool journey as well. So if you like that kind of content, definitely hit the subscribe button and keep on watching. So let's get into today's video. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a Michaels haul. I recently went to Michaels for a few crafty items and activity items and checked out their classroom decor and got some summer clearance items as well for some do-it-yourself projects and all of that which I will explain in the video. I just also want to go ahead and say I have been sharing a lot of haul videos on my channel recently to prepare for back to school with the curriculum coming in and read alouds and different books that I have brought into our home. I also just want to go ahead and say you do not need all of this to homeschool. You can use things that you have in your home that you've borrowed. You can use the library and free printables you can make it as simple and elaborate as you want these are just things that i'm using and maybe they will inspire you to get the items or source the items from your home shop your home before you go out and spend money um, this is just some things that i picked up and i thought i would go ahead and share them with you if they would benefit your family that is great but yeah, homeschool doesn't have to be what everybody else makes it. You have to make it your own, but we are here to inspire each other and give each other ideas and learn from each other. So let's dive right in to the haul. So it's a little bit of everything, but definitely stuff that you can use for homeschool or classrooms and all of that. So I'm just going to start with this. So this is a metal wreath form of some sort. It was on clearance. It was half off in the summer section and I'm actually going to use this for a Canada Day wreath to go in my decor next year. I've been wanting to make a Canada Day wreath for a while and I saw this and I thought it'd be fun. I can add some stuff up here and then add something down here. So you will see that next year when I decorated for Canada Day this year. I felt like it was missing something so yeah I might put it on there or I might put it on my door like on my if you watch the Canada Day um, or if you watch any of my decor videos I have like a place for like a wreath I'm thinking Canada Day but who knows it might end up being something else as well but yes picked up that to do a wreath with and then one of the main reasons I went to Michael's is I've been looking for one of these little rainbow trays so this is a wood sorting tray and it is from Cre the Creatology Michael's line and it has all these grooves in it and you can like sort things in here so I'm gonna put some like pom-poms in here which I did haul some pom-poms. Um, one thing to note is it does need to be sanded a little bit. It's quite rough inside and not completely finished. So you just gotta grab some sandpaper and do that if you don't wanna get like little slivers and all of that. But yeah, so to go with that, I did have some pom-poms already on hand, but they have been used and I wasn't sure if I'd have enough. So I did go ahead and pick up these pom-poms to use with that. I'm going to put this in one of our sensory bins that we have the Trofast bins, which we use for our sensory bins. And I'm going to put some of these in and get my daughter to sort them out and get some, set up a little sensory bin with that and some other items. And my boys can play with it as well. But I really loved the pastel colors in this. I had not seen pom-pom pastel colors like this really before or never really looked for them but I saw these I was like, that will be so pretty and different and I can definitely reuse these for like Easter as well and spring I feel like they will be able to be reused 
And then to go with activities, I also did go ahead and pick up the number matching activity with the popsicles. We do have the like real version of this, the plastic version of this, but I just, I don't know. I just thought this would be really fun. So it has the numbers on, this is foam. And then this is like a real stick. And then this is felt. So I just thought this would be a fun, different way of doing it. Maybe more compact. My daughter plays with the other ones, um, the plastic ones in her kitchen. And she says, there's ice cream for sale. So I thought this was really, really fun. And I can use these for preschool with her. She is going into preschool. So yeah, picked up those. They had a lot of other, a few other felt uh, learning games, matching activities some food related ones and some feelings ones, but this was the one I liked the most. And so I picked up that one. And then to go with the crafty world, I did go ahead and pick up two of these Africa wooden signs, these wooden plaques. And it has the string and the little hanging thing there. So we are going to be trying out gather round this year and i'm super super excited to share all of the units that we will be using this year to try it out i will be sharing that in a later video but one of the units is africa so i saw these they were in the clearance section they were half off i thought that this would be a really fun project as we learn about africa we can paint this we can maybe write the word africa maybe add in different cities or just just the animals. Maybe I'll pick up some animal stickers or maybe I have some animal stickers from Africa already in my home, in my sticker area. And we can add some animal stickers on here. And this will just be like a fun art piece and we can hang it up after. So picked up two of those to go with the Africa unit just for fun because I thought that was like a really fun project. So I was super excited to find those. And then for, we are doing our uh, summer reading program that we are just doing in house, reading up to 40 books or more and playing games that are reading based. I can't remember exactly how much, how many books we challenged our kids to read. I have a whole video about our summer reading plans on my channel. I will link to that up here or down below in the description box. So you can check out all the details there, but I'm challenging them to read as many books as they can and to play word based games for sure. So I wanted to go ahead and do something special at the end of summer when they are done, they're going to be getting a prize. Um, my oldest wanted some Legos. Now he's wanting some number blocks. And then my younger one, my six-year-old is wanting some number blocks as well. He's on the struggle bus with the reading program right now. He's not really into it, but we will see how it goes and we will encourage him and we'll keep going. But I wanted to go ahead and when they get their reward and they, 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 they've earned that and they've, they've put in the hard work, I wanted to do something. And so I saw this at Michael's and it's double-sided but it is a dry erase sign and it's like you did it presented to for sign date and then on the other one it's like hurrah for so anything hurrah for you are being a really kind you are being really kind today or i saw that you went the extra mile to help that person like whatever you can put anything in here i'm going to be using it whichever side for hurrah for completing your summer reading plan plan and program and and putting in the hard work and practicing your reading and I'll make that simpler but then date occasion signed so I guess up here you'd put hurrah for name your child's name and then the date the occasion and signed mom I just thought this was really really fun something really simple but you don't have to go ahead and print off at a reward it's already done for you. You just have to have a dry erase marker. It's totally fine to just print off a reward, but I just saw this and thought it was really, really fun. Something you can quickly maybe do up for each kid and then you can quickly erase it and do it again and take the pictures and 
make them feel special. Or if you have two kiddos, you could have like one name on one side and one name on the other side and they could have different certificates. Definitely think this was a fun find. So then the last thing for more classroom, homeschool room, or activity wise is I did go ahead and pick up this is called the finger paint tray these come in tons of different colors I kind of wish it was in like white or gray but they do not have that color right now but I picked this up just for like a flat surface activity area on our dining room table that's where we play like all of our activities and different games and sensory bins but I was thinking for summer like for a game like Bananagrams the kids could lay out the tiles in here and they could play and they could build words easily and if we need to put it away quickly we can keep them in here and yeah I'm just thinking that this will come in handy for a lot of different things they have tons of different colors I was very tempted to get like all the colors of my kids but we only needed one for now and we will see how it goes but yeah i'm really excited about this this also comes with like all the different colors for the trays and like the big trays the lap desk trays and there's organizers in all of the fun colors so excited about this and then lastly i picked up a few summer decor items that were half off for like my coffee bar area and like our front entrance way i decorated for christmas in july i'm not sure when you're going to be seeing this video so you might have already seen my christmas in july decor in like a short or something but so some of this will be like for christmas in july or just summer or i can mix match and do it for everything and just switch it up so i picked up these a little these picks so these yeah like flower picks from the summer celebrations line and they were half off so i got this one it has the pineapple and the arrow and welcome i thought this would be really fun i often have plants in my decor and i thought this would just be really cute on my coffee bar on my tiered tray and i picked up this one with the pineapples and the rainbow and the car i just thought this was super fun i've never seen anything like this and the palm trees so yeah that one says hello And then I picked up these flip flops with the pineapples and watermelons and flamingos. There was a few other um, flip flop designs too, but I just like this one. And then I don't really go for gnomes. I don't want to get into gnomes and I just like, I don't need another thing to get into, but I had to get these gnomes. So I got two of these gnomes and these these are actually from the spring picks which is interesting that these were in the spring line because these are like more summery to me but he has a pineapple hat on and i have this really cute pineapple hat for my kids that i've had since i think my daughter maybe my second born i don't know but it's a really cute little pineapple hat so i just thought these were super super cute and I seem to gravitate towards fruit when I'm decorating for summer. I just love the fun colors and the summer vibe of watermelons and lemons and pineapples and just the colors that they bring. So these little guys had to come home to be in my summer decor and Christmas in July decor. And I'm excited to decorate with them. I might go ahead and like decorate my coffee bar area for August. That's just kind of neutral before I decorate it for fall. Those are, those are the items that I picked up recently at Michael's. So I hope this video inspired you for the upcoming school year and gave you some ideas that you can use in your homeschool as well. Maybe you want to go check out michaels as well maybe you'll find some other fun things but i hope that this just inspired you to be that encourager to your children this summer and this upcoming school year notice the things that they are doing well and encourage them when they're improving when they accomplish that reading lesson that was really really hard maybe you can get a board like this and be like hey you got through that challenging reading lesson 
let's give you a word, but you can totally go ahead and find a printable online and do the same thing. Just want to inspire you and give you resources as well. Maybe you're going to be using the Gather Round Africa unit study as well, or you're going to be learning about Africa in a different way. You could maybe go ahead and find this. This was in the clearance section, so I don't know if it is available, but just showing you that there is these resources out there if it's something that you want to go ahead and do and bring in some fun projects to your homeschool this upcoming school year. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you join us here as we share our homeschool journey and inspire you along the way. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.